Hey, what's up guys? Guys, in today's video, we'll be connecting the most usable business video conferencing, the Zoom app with our Salesforce org. We'll be doing this connectivity using the Zapier. Using the Zapier, guys, we'll be sending some information from the Zoom app, like when the meeting is going to start, when it is going to end, and some related info as well. To collect these information into our Salesforce org, we'll be creating a custom object and we'll be storing that information into our custom object using the Zapier. So guys, let's start this video. I'm Kapil, your host, and you're watching Salesforce Fold. All right, guys. So for today's demo, basically, we need a Zoom account, a Zapier account, and a Salesforce account. So let's start with the Salesforce account. So this is my Salesforce account, and in this account, I'll be creating a custom object here to store the Zoom information. So same way you can create a task or record activity also. So my custom object name will be Zoom Zoom data. Okay. All right. The record field type will be Zoom data name. Okay. Let's save this. Okay. So now we'll create some fields here to store the data. The name field is already there. So let's create a few more fields. Let's create a date time field first to store the uh, meeting start date and time. Okay, so this will store the meeting start date. Let's make it visible for all. Okay. And we'll create another date time field. Here it is. Meeting and okay. and uh, let's create one more field to store the duration okay so let's create text field here for duration okay all right guys so our custom object is ready and we are having some custom fields like meeting name start date and date and meeting duration okay so now guys uh, we need a zapier account and we'll be creating a zap to connect the zoom application with our salesforce app so this is my zapier account i'm using the free version of it right now let's create a new zap here okay so we will choose the zoom app here and it should trigger when we schedule a new meeting okay let's select this one okay now we have to select a zoom account so this is my zoom account and you can also create a uh, sorry you can also add a new account by clicking on this link okay so i have added my account and it is already verified let's click on the continue button okay so these are some uh, test data from the meetings let's select the meeting one from here now it will display some fields from that meeting okay let's refresh the fields Okay, now it will find some data from that meeting. Let's test our trigger. Okay, so it is unable to find a meeting right now because I think I'm already recording the screen using the Zoom application. 
So I think that is the re reason it is uh, not able to find the Zoom application there. Okay, let's find some another way to record the screen and after that we'll be using the Zoom. Okay guys, let's start this again. Uh, earlier I was using the Zoom application to record the screen but uh, for this demo I have to make some uh, I have to schedule a meeting into Zoom application so that's why I stopped that recording and now I'm recording it again with a new screen recorder software which is free cam right now. So let's start the process again. Uh, where did we left? Uh, okay, so we have already created the fields here. Okay, uh, guys, uh, guys, let's create one more field to store the meeting URL as well. Okay, so let's create a URL field. Okay. Okay, let's save it. Okay guys, now in our Zoom application, we will schedule a meeting. So the meeting topic is Kapil Batra Zoom meeting and start date is 11. Let's make it 11.30. Okay, let's make it 11.30. Okay, and the duration is 30 minutes. All right. Okay, let's schedule it. Okay, it will open the Google Calendar, but uh, I don't want it to store in my calendar. So I have scheduled a meeting. Now let's start the find data step here. So in find data step, guys, you can see my meeting details here. There are different meetings here let me select one of them okay so we are getting the data here let's click on continue now we will connect the salesforce org with this so we will create a record into our salesforce org there are multiple actions available like you can update a record you can first find a record and then you can choose action like uh, i mean uh, you want to create a new record and or you want to update the same record again so in my case i will be creating a record Let's click on continue. Okay, we need to connect a Salesforce account there. I think I must be having my old account. This account is expired. Okay, now we have to reconnect it. All right, we'll be connecting the production. So my account is connected again with my Zapier account. Let's click on continue. All right. Now we will select our Salesforce object. So it's a custom object. Okay. So these, uh, I think this is the data we are getting from the Zoom. And we have to select the object from here. My object name was zoom data. Here it is. Okay. All right, guys. So these are my objects fields. Now we'll be doing the field mapping here. So the first one is data name. So we'll connect it with topic start date start date and time okay and date here is and date and time meeting duration let's connect it with duration okay and the last one is meeting url here is join url so guys th there are other fields as well like you can uh, get the time zone as well or you can also have the meeting id here so let's connect the URL, the last field. Okay guys, so we have mapped all our fields, all our Salesforce object field with the uh, Zoom records. So let's click on continue. 
okay let's test and continue okay guys so the record has been created into that uh, custom object let's turn on the zap Okay, I think I have already used my trial here. Okay, guys, we won't be able to turn on this app here because uh, it's not available on the trial version as Salesforce. They are, they are considering Salesforce as a premier as a premium app, so we won't be able to turn on the app as I have already used my trial period into my into my this app here account, but. Uh, if you are creating a new account, so you will be getting a trial of seven days, and after the trial, you can turn on the zap. Okay, let's click on done editing, and also, guys, there is a button on top right corner to turn on the zap again. Okay, so let's check if the test record get created into this Zoom data object. Okay guys, so we'll create a new tab for our object. Okay, let's create a new one. Here's our object, zoom data. Tab style, let's keep it books. Okay, let's click on next. next again and save okay so we have created a tab now let's check out the test record which the zapier app has created into our salesforce org so this is our object zoom data okay we are not having yeah here it is so this was the test record uh, created by Zapier into our Salesforce org. So if you turn on the Zap, so it will create a record every time uh, whenever you will schedule a Zoom meeting. Okay, so uh, that's it for today, guys. And also I'll be creating a blog for this uh, in which I'll I'll mention the complete step by step process to create a new Zap and connect it with your Salesforce org. So you can directly go to my blog as well. My blog name is salesforcebold.com. I will be creating it tonight. So that's it for guys and I hope you learned something new. Hey guys, I hope you liked today's video. Please don't forget to click on the like and subscribe button below. Also let me know if you have any query in the comment section below guys. I'll try to revert back as soon as possible. I'll see you in the next one guys. Thanks for watching.